Hey, this is Matt from Trivium, and you're watching the Kerrang! Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Podcast. It's day two of Download 2012. Here I am with Matt from Trivium. How are you doing? Fantastic. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah. How's your uh, day been so far? Really great. The show... We finally did one that properly topped 2005. I know, I know the other two years didn't, but this one did. Yeah. This was really fantastic. Yeah, what, the, what made it so sort of stand out uh, today? I think it required no thinking, which was really nice. Remember 2005, I don't really remember it at all. And this one, I kind of don't really remember much aside from running around that snake pit. So yeah. that means we did it right. The other yeah. two years that we were kind of planning it out a little bit, I guess when you let instinct take over, it's a lot better. Yeah. And that's what happened today. The gigs go by in a bit of a blur, really. The really great ones, yeah. The ones where maybe technical difficulties are happening or maybe... Time slows down to it. Yeah, stop. yeah, or if like my voice ain't feeling right. Those yeah. you're thinking, you're concentrating today, all the stars aligned. Excellent. No no rain during our set, yeah, nothing, yeah. no problem. The sun came out, it was good. Wow, yeah. a very brief moment for oh, yeah. uh, British summertime. Yeah, it was um, good. I, I know that 2005 went by in a blur for you, but that was a classic show for Trivium. We know it really yeah. elevated the band. Um, if you can dig back in your brain for any any kind of uh, memories of that day, yeah, because um, it was like circle pits before breakfast. Well, really. not not that I condone these kinds of activities, but I remember two days before we were supposed to play a show, so we canceled the show because we got bumped up from like the sixth stage to the main stage. So we were driving out there, and uh, we we're all still in our sex, drugs, and rock and roll phase, and we were partying with stuff that is ingested by your nasal cavity all night on the ride up. And I remember on the show day, when we were walking up stage, I hadn't warmed up, I just got in my clothes, my nose was still bleeding, my voice sounded like shit. We went up and everything for some reason worked out. And I remember when we came off stage that day, I was like, you know what? I need to be able to deliver this all the time. And that's when we stepped up and got serious. And now that's why everything is about doing the best possible show for our fans and doing the absolute best we can for the people that enjoy our band. So that's why nowadays I'm a lot more intensively strict on myself on tour with you know all that kind of all that health stuff to make sure yeah. we do it right for our fans yeah. what's on your rider then do you because you mentioned doing yoga and stuff yeah, in the rockstar yeah. test uh, the Kerrang yep, a while ago yep i failed that thing I, I probably should have dug back in the old archives yeah or you know i was thinking uh yeah so on our rider nowadays kombucha's on there which is something that's really fantastic like a special tea or? yeah it's fermented tea it's something that's been around since i guess ancient the ancient chinese days and it's the tea basically rots and creates like a bacterial strain that's similar to yogurt right. so i find that that's really good um that i mean there is tons of booze on our rider the big thing for me is local beer i always want to have local beer i can't stand mass chain beer um so we're at whatever city we're in we, we tell them get a, a diverse pack of what your local beer is yeah. Uh, yeah. what, what's on today's right? I, I, I'm today, not from the area, so I don't know what the local beer is. Today is just the standard dressing right. room rider. Yeah. So everybody has two Borg today, yeah, which is obviously not British. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Although festivals it is from uh, Denmark, which kind of ties in with tonight's headliners. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One quarter of yeah. yeah. So that that makes sense. Maybe that was his idea. Yeah. Yeah. So today there's no locals, but usually when we headline, we we get all sorts of great local beers. Excellent. Um, obviously tonight uh, we're both uh, big Metallica fans. I'm trying to figure out how I can watch from the Snake Pit or from front of house. Yeah. I don't know who to ask. I want to make it happen. Yeah. I, I'm sure if you've played on, you know, if you've been on stage today, I'm sure you can. You think so? Yeah. I'll, I'll try. I'll see yeah. what happens. I really friggin' hope so. Yeah. I mean, uh, the playing the Black album from start to finish. Um, what's your favorite uh, moment from that album? I mean, the fact that that was the first piece of metal I ever heard in my life. Um, before that, I tried out for like a pop punk ska band because then. Uh, my tryout song was Damn It by Blink-22, and I was like 10, 10 or 11. Tried out for a band, didn't make it, and I was bummed out. Then someone lent me the Black Album. And through the Black Album, that was the first time I heard metal, and I started backtracking to their back catalog, started getting into the rest of the metal bands I got into, and it got me the gig in Trivium. And I've been in first band, first job, thanks to the Black Album. Brilliant. Uh, what's the first Metallica riff you learned? Shit. That's a good question. I mean, No Leaf Clover's the song that got me the tryout for Trivium, and my tryout song is for whom the bell tolls. So I'm not exactly sure what the first one was. Right. It was probably Sad But True or something. Right. A nice slow grinding riff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, can you can you tell us, because you, you know, you've been to uh, Dunning many times, and yep. it's regarded as the spiritual home of metal for, you know, you know these kind of uh, festivals. What is it about this festival site that makes, you know, the, the weekend so good? I think the fact that today I was able to see that metal is alive and well in the UK was, was definitely reaffirming for me because I love it here. This is the country that gave us our start and 
you know, obviously with changing tides of music, it kind of looked like there was a shortage, a massive shortage of metal in the UK. And today when I saw that the crowd was ready for it and they were down for it, and then the fact that Metallica's headlining as well, I can see that metal, metal is ready to make a comeback here, which yeah. it needs to. It's, it's been too long. Um, you know, there are too many tours going on out here that aren't metal. Uh, who of your uh, contemporaries are you kind of uh, rooting for at the moment? I mean, Machine Head is unbelievable as always. We're, we're on the festival run with them. The fact that Kill Switch Engage has Jesse Leach back, who's one of my favorite singers of all time. New Meshuggah is amazing. Opeth is always crushing. Yeah. Looking for the new Gojira. So there's a lot of good stuff going on. Yeah. Um, you're part of the Roadrunner family, and obviously the sad news that uh, you know there's kind of uh, uh, business structural uh, changes yeah, going man. on. Um, can you tell us uh, why you love Roadrunner so much? Forty of our closest friends were just let go. I mean, these are, these are people that they don't work for us; they work with us. You know, Kirsten is a huge part of why Trivium does well in the UK because she worked her ass up before she even had a chance to meet us. And then when we became good friends, you know, she's she's definitely been involved in some of the biggest things of our lives. You know, including today and 2005 and all the tours in between. So. It's a huge bummer, um, you know, we're losing Mark Palmer and I mean everyone that we're, that we're losing from all around the world, we're losing 40 of our friends, at least that I know of. Yeah. So it's a drag. I mean, the music industry keeps changing. Mm -hmm. Every album we release, the music industry is drastically different. People are buying less and less CDs, people caring, caring less and less about bands. So thankfully we still have a massive career opportunity ahead of us. The fact that we're on tour 11 months out of this year. But it's sad to see even so many bands that used to bring us out that we used to tour with can't even tour anymore. Right. So it's, it's a scary spot for music. I mean, yeah. kids need to really back the bands they love to give them a career. Yeah, definitely. I uh, wholeheartedly agree. Um, so what's what's next for Trivium? Like, uh, what's the next few months hold? Nonstop. I mean, like I said, this year's like 11 months or so out, so we're on the rest of the festival run. Um, we get home, we're doing the Trespass America tour with uh, Five Finger Death Punch, Kill Switch Engage, Trivium, God Forbid, Battle Cross, Emure, and Pop Evil. Finish that, go to uh, South America for a headlining tour for the oh, first wow. time with Dragon Force. I've heard, well, I've seen first time Iron Maiden uh, play in South America and the, yeah. the fans love the I've, metal there. A lot of the shows are selling out already and they're yeah. big places too. So finish that up. We have a headlining tour coming back later this year. It's Trivium, Esley, Dying, Caliban, and Upon a Burning Body playing the UK, Europe, everywhere oh, for a proper headliner. Um, maybe Japan, Australia, and maybe another US tour. Cool. And, and uh, next year, we already have about nine songs demoed for the new record. We've got about 15 songs written for the new record, album titles, songs, artwork, all that stuff ready. So you're going to be uh, sampling a lot of local beers in the next six months oh, yeah. or so. Oh, yeah. Excellent. It's all about the local beers. And cool. actually, someone brought us a German local schnapps from uh, Karlsruhe. Right. And it's called Ficken, which means fuck. So right. we have fuck schnapps in our bus. Nice. Okay. See what it tastes like. I prefer the local ales, but yeah. see what happens. Excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, best of luck with getting your snake pick pass. Or, oh man, uh, I'm gonna try. I'm yeah, gonna try. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm gonna tackle cool, someone to get that shit. Awesome, man. Thank Excellent. you so Thank much, you. dude. Cheers, man. Cheers.